What's that? Another video? Whoa! Yeah, sorry, they were kind of a day apart. I wanted to film yesterday, but then it was going to be really weird because that's like two videos in a row. And plus, this is the start of a new week, so why not? So, hey guys, it's Little Squonker. And Connor Friends have really inspired me. Thanks to Connor's, Connor's new book! Connor's book. Oh my god, Connor's book. This is where my inner fangirl is going to come out, guys. Sorry, not sorry. So, Connor Franta, the love of my life, even though he's gay, came out with a fabulous book not too long ago, actually. And guess who finally decided to get it exactly a week ago? Anyway, so Connor Franta talks about in his book how you should really stick to what you're doing, basically. And don't let anybody stop you. And don't think that something as hard as making YouTube videos about on a weekly basis is really hard to go up to like a million subscribers. It's not that hard, guys. And it's really inspiring, honestly. And I made a blog post about it, how much I love it, even though it's like four paragraphs. Words cannot express how much I love it. So, yeah. Um, Connor Franta also shares a lot about his childhood. You even have, like, old photos of him. It's so cute. You have old photos of him. If you see, if you follow me on Instagram, then, in my other book channel, then you know I have a lot of photos of him. And it's freaking amazing. Honestly, I love it. And overall, Connor's book's just really adorable, and I absolutely positively love it. And you should really give this a read. I think that every high schooler who's about sophomore or junior should really read this because that's the point in their life where they're really trying to find themselves. And starting to figure out what they're gonna do in life and how they're gonna get there like what you're gonna major in what you're gonna minor in what college you're going to what clothes you're finally gonna get used to what pants you're finally gonna get used to what books you're gonna read what books you're not gonna read basically your life choices is what i did in life and since with me spending time with more nature i found myself again Basically. And it's amazing when you just like sit alone in nature and you're just like there. Like I found myself yesterday and am I proud? Yes, I'm very proud that I found myself yesterday. And I told my friend about it and I texted him as soon as I got home, guess what? And he's like, what? I found myself. And he's like, oh, like a question mark, like something different happened. And I'm like, and he said, go on, and I'm like, I basically found myself. Like, I made the life choices, and I finally know what I'm going to do in life. And he's like, do you want to tell them to me? I'm like, I guess. And I basically just listed all the things that I finally know what I'm going to do in life. And he says, I'm proud of you, gave me the support, blah, blah, blah. And that's what friends are for. So, now that I finally finished The Work in Progress by Connor Franta, I'm finally back on to Miss Peggering's Home of Peculiar Children. And I'm going to procrastinate. Let it snow again. Sorry, guys. I know. I don't know. I don't really know if I should read it. Honestly. Because, I mean, it's in the winter. And I think if I should read it, like, in cold weather, then it'll make ten times more sense. I'm itching my back right now. Sorry. And the Scorch Trials just trailer just came out. And me and my friend were talking about the lightning. About the, um, what's it called? The Olympians, sorry. And we were talking about the Battle of Labyrinth, and now I didn't read it yet. And it's been quite some time since I've read the Battle of Labyrinth. So, I should really get started on that. And then I have the last Olympian, and then I'm done. With that series. That's really sad. Um, so, yeah. Um, comment below what books you want me to review next. And this video is about to go to five minutes like my usual. I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for the rant.